My younger sister's behavior towards my boyfriend is creepy and disgusting. My 18-year-old sister is a miracle child. Thus, she was always spoiled by my parents. She always wants everything, and when we were little, she always used to steal my belongings. I was never allowed to touch any of her things, but she constantly stole my stuff and was always rude to me. My mom has always preferred her over me, and most of the time I was told to let it go. Due to this, I have lots of resentment towards her, and I don't really like her. My mom called me two weeks ago, pleading to let my sister stay with me because she lost her job but insists on moving out and living with someone other than my parents. I had a huge fight and told her no, but got guilt and pity tripped into letting it happen. Now I'm honestly starting to regret it. Her behavior is creepy and strange and downright disgusting. First of all, she doesn't respect me at all. She's constantly ignoring me while having long talks with my boyfriend. She doesn't leave my boyfriend alone. She flirts with him and constantly tries to touch him by using cheap tricks. When we watch movies, she pushes me away and tries to snuggle with my boyfriend. She slaps his butt when he walks by. She also runs her fingers through his hair every day saying whoa your hair is so soft. What the f? These are all just excuses to touch him. She just needs a chance. Another thing she does is ask him if he has abs so she can touch his torso. Or say, did you see this thing I lost, maybe it's in your pockets let me see, and proceed to pat his thighs. One time she wanted help with hooking her bra, and she just walked out in her undies. She came to our room, and my boyfriend was in the bathroom. The logical thing to do is just ask me, I'm her sister. But what does she do? She just waits for my boyfriend and asks him instead even though I'm sitting right there. I think I looked very upset because my boyfriend just told her no, and she went back to her room. She didn't try that again. This is not even all. My boyfriend and I can't even talk to each other without her interrupting us. She barges into our room with no warning. A few days ago, we were trying to have intimacy, and I don't know how the f she realized it, but she started banging on the door claiming to have a headache. I opened the door and asked her what was wrong. I told her I had pills for it, but she just said she doesn't trust me and she wanted to talk to my boyfriend instead. After disturbing us, she was suddenly completely fine, and her headache disappeared miraculously. She just came into our bedroom and started talking to my boyfriend. We were literally half unclothed, and there was no way she didn't know. This is driving me crazy. I was so angry she interrupted us because she has been doing this since she came here. I was feeling in the mood and angry. I just told her to get out and that we needed some alone time. We had a small argument, and she started crying. The thing is she never accepts it. She's completely blind to what she's doing. She denies doing it and sheds tears which end up making me feel bad instead. My boyfriend is so uncomfortable by all of this. He just looks exhausted all the time. He's trying his best to be nice, but she's all over him all the time. He's usually very introverted. He's not very confrontational, and I know this is bothering him. When I talked to him about it, he just commented that it was a bad idea to invite her to stay here. He also said not to invite her ever again. I don't want to see her ever again, but she's my parents' favorite child, and no matter how hard I try, I can never escape her. Whenever I try to cut contact with her, my mom calls me and begs me to forgive her. My mom doesn't want to see her daughters fighting with each other, and she always says how she wants us to be together forever. My younger sister's behavior towards my boyfriend is creepy and disgusting. I finally decided to talk to my sister yesterday. She was actually sitting in my living room in her undies and bra, and I completely lost my cool. I told her multiple times to wear some clothes, but she said it was too hot which it was not. She then made a small comment about me being insecure about my boyfriend liking her, and that made me angry. I sat her down, and we talked. I told her she was making me uncomfortable. She was making my boyfriend uncomfortable, and we wanted her to leave. She looked very shocked by it because I don't think I have ever talked to her like that. She immediately apologized though. I gave her an ultimatum. She needed to pack her stuff and get out in three hours. She looked very emotional, and she apologized a lot, said sorry a lot, and told me she loved me. She said she would never intentionally try to hurt me. If I misunderstood her actions, it wasn't her fault. She kept saying she didn't know. She said she was just trying to be friendly to my boyfriend which is not true at all. I asked her if harassing someone was friendly to her, and she started crying. By this time, my boyfriend who was in our bedroom came to support me. She kind of directed her questions towards him. She asked him if she was making him uncomfortable and he said yes, and she cried and apologized. She then tried to gain his sympathy by saying that I was kicking her out when she had no place to go. She also lied that I was always mean to her. She completely ignored me and asked him if she could stay. She had nowhere else to go. Of course, he said no. What the f did she think? I will forever remember the look on her face. So yeah, she actually refused to leave, cried a lot, and said she was jobless and she didn't have money or friends. I told her she had no friends because she was a beach. She then tried to guilt trip me into letting her stay by repeating the words, I'm your sister, your family, I love you. Me and my boyfriend helped her pack all her stuff and put it next to her car. I told her that she can stay in her car, I didn't care. I wanted her to go. I was actually crying a little while I was shouting at her because I was shaking so much. At one point my boyfriend had to tell me to calm down. It was just so overwhelming. I'm just glad she's gone. She did leave eventually. She was calling someone, and I'm pretty sure she went back to her own flat. Three hours after she left, my mom called me and yelled at me for kicking her out. I shouldn't have been shocked when she accused my boyfriend of bothering my sister. My mom also asked me what kind of man I was dating, I should leave him etc. I should have expected that, really. I tried to reason with her, but my mom was just angry at me. 
She asked me things like how can you do this to your own sister and similar bullcrap she should be asking my sister. At that point, I was so angry. I was in tears and shaking. I just told her to F off in anger and hung up. It was just a weird day. I'm proud of myself for finally standing up to my sister, but I also don't really feel like getting up from my bed.